A trailer filled with equipment for the Adirondack Football League sits at the Oval Base, a league Dominic Trombolee was part of as a kid. It was pretty great. Um, it just teaches that the fundamentals at an early age. He learned a lot about the basics, carrying those skills on to his high school football career. Basic fundamentals of tackling, how to properly hit, um, proper stances. Um, and it also teaches you the basics of, of teamwork. But there's a possibility kids 12 and under will not be allowed to play tackle football much longer. On Tuesday, the New York State Assembly Health Committee debated the impacts of tackle football on children. It makes intuitive sense that exposing children with rapidly maturing brains to repetitive impacts is ill-advised, whether they occur in a game or in practice, whether they're initiated from a three-point stance or a crouch, whether they cause concussions or not. The emerging data seems to support this concept. I require all of our coaches to take the USA Football online course um, that goes over concussion protocols and all those things. Our number one rule is safety first for the kids. Head of the Adirondack Football League, Randy Major, is curious why the state is targeting football. Hockey is just as violent a sport, but nobody's talking about, you know, banning hockey. Uh, soccer gets a lot of concussions, but nobody's talking about banning soccer. While there are safety concerns over concussions, both Major and Trombley believe teaching young players will help them perform at a safe level later on. When they hit those modified in high school levels, uh, they don't come in there blind not knowing what to do. It, it really all comes down to the, the fundamentals, teaching them that early. If they can develop the skills that they need that early, then they'll know what to properly do and how to protect themselves and the other players on the field. In Plattsburgh, Josh Mitchell, NBC5 News.